Expression is another quality of UDL. How someone tells you what they know can also happen in multiple ways. For many people, this may take the form of a written report, oral response, filling in a bubble sheet, or a presentation. However, for someone challenged by cerebral palsy, the response may come through the click of a switch or an eye gaze. The challenge of navigating the environment to get to that response is also important. It requires planning and organization. Attention, physical, fine motor, language, organizational challenges, or cultural influences can be barriers for some learners. To increase access, communication media must be varied. Some examples may include text, speech, demonstration, touching or pointing, drawing, singing, dancing, or building a model. Learners also need tools for composition and problem solving so they can tell you what they know. Infusing today's media tools with traditional tools can increase flexible options. Students can be trained in the use of tools such as spell checkers, graphic organizers, dictation and recording to help with this. Opportunities for scaffolded practice and performance with feedback can help learners best express themselves. Scaffolding can be provided for different levels of challenge with varying support in multiple formats, from human mentors to interactive computer programs that adjust difficulty levels. Finally, it is important to monitor the progress with the learner so that he or she can see the results. This might take the form of graphs, charts, guiding self-assessment questions, portfolios, or photographs.